Hey, I'm Gary Gomez. I'm an architectural photographer based in Atlanta, Georgia. And earlier this year, I released a full-length tutorial that teaches real estate photography. It's about five hours long, and it covers composition, shooting, lighting, and editing, and a lot of business topics. And one of the things that you get when you purchase the tutorial is access to a private Facebook group. And that's where we have a pretty great community going on. People have a great discussion. They share photos, get critical feedback on their photos, ask for business advice, pricing advice, and things like that. It's a really good time. But one of the things that keeps coming up, I've noticed, is in my tutorial, in part of my composition lessons, um, I do a lot of cropping on the photos. By default, most cameras have a 3 by 2 aspect ratio and I don't always adhere to the 3 by 2 aspect ratio. I will crop photos to suit each image, whatever I think makes a better, more compelling composition, and it's not always 3 by 2 And very often, I actually turn the camera on its side and shoot in portrait orientation. And one piece of feedback I have consistently gotten is that not all MLSs allow uploading photos outside of a 3 by 2 aspect ratio. Where I live here in Atlanta, it's not an issue. My local MLS works just fine with portrait orientation or any aspect ratio that I want to upload. Um, so I have not had that problem with my clients, but it's not like that everywhere. So what I did to fix that problem is I created a uh, Lightroom preset that lets you export the photos regardless of the aspect ratio or your crop into a three by two square. It is a print preset and I'll show you exactly how it works. So take a look at it here. All right, so we're in the print module, and if I apply this preset, it's called 3 by 2 aspect ratio for web, and uh, we apply it automatically to this image. You can see this is already a 3 by 2 aspect ratio, so nothing is really being applied as a result of this preset. But as we scroll through, you'll notice that I cropped this image just a little bit, a little bit off the side, and what this preset is doing is it's adding these white borders to the edges. And we'll just scroll through these photos. Same story here with this image, a slight crop on it, making a, a little bit more square. And now we're at a vertical composition or a portrait orientation. I chose white for the background because most of the websites where these photos will be uploaded to have a white background. And so in effect, you're not going to see these borders at all when they're on a perfectly white background. And here's another portrait shot. Here's a full size three by two uncropped photo. And the last one is a slight crop. And let me show you why, really quickly, you would want to crop a photo like this. So we'll go back into the Develop module by pressing the D button on your keyboard. And with, if we hit the R button on the keyboard, you can pull up the Crop tool. And you can see that I cropped a little bit of the refrigerator out of the photo. I think this is a better, more compelling composition because we're using rule of thirds here. And by bringing this left vertical third closer to this pendant. This intersecting point is a point of interest in the photo. And this this is just composition 101 here. I cover stuff like this in just about every photo that we cover in my tutorial. But I cropped this photo knowing when I shot it that I was going to crop it. And I think it's a more compelling composition. It brings the kitchen a little closer in because we don't have as much sort of distracting stuff on the edge. And it's just a little more pleasing in my opinion. So I want to be able to do this. This is important to me because this is a better photo now. It's a better composition now that it's got a slight crop to it and it doesn't have to be three by two because this preset will take care of it. So again, if we go back to the print module, you can see the preset applied and we have these white borders. Now, really quickly, I'll just show you what this preset is. If we go to the right hand panel here, you can see two main things. It's printing to a JPEG file. The, the print module is a little misleading in Lightroom because you can export to a JPEG file. So I have that here. And then I set the custom file dimensions to 30 inches by 20 inches, inches with a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. This is going to give you roughly 2000 pixels on the long edge for this JPEG file, which is more than enough for most web use. And you're not going to need these white borders for printing. So just the regular print preset that comes with my tutorial will do just fine. Um, but you can make any adjustments you want to this. If you don't like this file size, just pick any dimensions here that work for you as long as it's a 3 by 2 aspect ratio.
And for the background color, you can change this as well. I selected white because I think it's what's going to work best in most situations. But if you want a medium gray or even go all the way black, you can do that. It's up to you. So you can download this preset in the link in the description below. It's totally free. And if you're interested in checking out my tutorial for real estate photography, that's available at masteringrealestatephotography.com. Links in the description below. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks, guys. Bye.